Welcome to Band Stuff, teaching veteran Trey Reilly here. If you would, real quick, press subscribe and like. I would really appreciate it. I grew up in Texas and Alabama. Spent my whole teaching career in Arkansas. And so I'm a very faithful member of the South. And there was a comedian a few years ago named Jeff Foxworthy who was very, very popular, and he mainly used the shtick, you might be a redneck if. And I've kind of applied that to band, and I'm kind of saying, your band might be redneck if. And I hope this doesn't offend you, because one of the great things about Southerners is we love our differences, we love our traditions, and we know how to laugh at ourselves, and there's some things that you might wonder why we're even proud of certain things, but we are. So with that in mind, I'd like to help you see if your band is redneck or not. If you have to cancel a halftime performance because of deer season, your band might be redneck. There's more likely to be a can of skull in your trumpet player's case. Instead of a mute, your band might be redneck. If your students think motif is what their grandparents need when they lose their dentures, your band might be redneck. If on the first day of marching band practice, most of your band members come wearing blue jeans and cowboy boots, your band might be redneck. If most of your instruments are held together with duct tape, your band might be redneck. Your band parents boo the other band at halftime or at marching contests, your band might be redneck. If most of your band parents wear camouflage, your band might be redneck. If it takes most of your students longer to get to school in the morning on the school bus than it takes to get to an average and away game, your band might be redneck. If your students think the term cantabile refers to people who eat other people, your band might be redneck. If your students think an elegy is what grows on top of fishing ponds, your band might be redneck. If you have a band parent stand up in the middle of a concert performance and say, way to play that tuber, Bubba, your band might be redneck. If you use a four-wheel truck for your band tower, your band might be redneck. If you have a student's truck whose stereo plays louder than your band, your band might be redneck. Someone in your band plays the guitar, your band might be redneck. If you have members of your band who also sing in the choir, your band might be redneck. If your best fundraiser is auctioning off a shotgun, your band might be redneck. Have an emergency and need a knife. And the brass section offers you more than 50 choices. Your band might be redneck. And finally, if your band booster president looks like Elvis, your band might be redneck. Thank you. Thank you very much.